So now let us look at the sustainable management. Sustainable management of forest. Here we can take two instances. The first one, the first incident took place in 1970, which was called as Chipko Andolan. So it happened in a village called as Reni in Girwal, in high up in Himalayas. So this was a place where this incident Chipko Andolan took place. Actually, it was a dispute between the villagers and contractor. Villagers, contractor. So what was the dispute here between the logging contractor and the villagers? Villagers, they don't want the, want the trees to be cut down. Because the villagers are based on the trees for firewood. That is, they are plucking the branches and leaves of the trees. Only the branches and leaves and other products for their use and they are dependent on the trees but the contractors that is for the purpose of wood they are permanently cutting down the trees so once the tree is completely cut down once the area is evacuated by cutting all the trees so the survival of these villagers become questionable so here the villagers they had a clash with the contractor and they did not allow the contractor to cut the trees in that village so the forest which is close to the village so here finally because due to the attempts of these villagers the contractor withdrew his idea of cutting the trees in that place so this news it spread in the communities because you see that there in the view of contractor if the contractor had cut down all the trees that place is evacuated deforestation takes place but whereas the villagers they are not totally destroying the trees they are simply depending upon the products of the trees so here with the involvement or engagement of the people in the management of the natural resource like forest would be more beneficial and successful when compared to the other means by making some laws or selling it to that or giving it to that industrialist or contractors. So they cannot maintain or manage simply they take out the product from the forest. So they are not bothered about the other consequences and maintenance, restoration or reforestation. So all those issues are not taken into consideration for the people like contractors or industrialists. We take one more incidence that is in West Bengal in 1972. So here what happened? The salt forest it has got degraded a lot. Because of the government rules, the degradation, the people were kept away from the forest. So there is a clash between the government officials and the villagers. It led to that Naxalism. Naxalites developed in that area. So here, the government changed its strategy, the forest department. So this happened in the place Arabari Forest Range in Midnapur district. So here a forest official named A.K. Banerjee, he made an agreement with the villagers. So the salt forest, it was very much degraded and useless. There is no commercial value to that forest. So he took help of the villagers. He asked the help of villagers to grow salt forest again in 1,272 hectares of land. And he made an agreement to the people, he will provide, he will allow the people to collect the fodder and uh, he will give some nominal payment to the people. They should help in the restoration of the condition, proper growth of these salt trees. So it led to a success in the year 1983. That forest area, it costed 12.5 crores. Earlier it was useless. So that was the benefit obtained by the involvement of the local people. So what this incident tells that, so what we can learn from this incident is that involvement or engaging the local people in the conservation of the forest will be successful. If you make some strict laws, if you make some kind of reserved forest and reserving certain area without people, without the engagement of the local people, it would be not successful. So that is the point here. It has to be understood from this topic that is the sustainable management if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus